we have two very important astrological events happening right now. We have on one side the Venus start point for this year, and we also have the full moon in Libra. So let's talk about those things that are going to set up the intention or uh, help you set the intention to bring more harmony, beauty, motivation, and desire in your life. Thank you for joining me in the Phoenix Rising Podcast. I'm Laura Teo. This is Season 3, Episode 8. Welcome to The Phoenix Rising, a podcast where you'll find insights, recommendations, and learn many things that you need to know about different techniques and concepts that will support you in your spiritual and personal expansion. I am your host, Laura Teo, intuitive coach, mentor, and energy healer. So a Venus star point is an astrological event that occurs when the Sun and Venus, which is the planet ruler of Taurus and Libra, align in the sky in the same sign and degree. So the Sun then is maximizing Venus power by giving it more vitality. Remember that the Sun is vitality, is life force, is how you shine. So it adds all this into Venus, which is also the planet that embraces beauty, love, harmony, art, relationships, and also money in some extent. So the Venus star point happens every 10 to 12 months, and it always happens in a different sign. But in a period of eight years, it goes back to its origin, like to Aries. Right now it's in Aries. In eight years, it's going to go to the same point in Aries. And between that, it always changes uh, sign. So it creates a different journey every time, depending on the sign that is happening. So because this year is in Aries, We are looking into a Venus that is based in this pioneer energy. Uh, I was talking about this in um, in a recording that I was doing that I posted in on YouTube. So if you don't know about it, please go check your check it out. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. Just look for Laura Teo or Laura Teo Twenty, and you will find it in the Cosmic Overview. So there I talk about the conjunction between Venus and the Sun in Aries and how this influences Venus. So this planet, like I said, that is about love and relationships and harmony, it is very much influenced with that Aries characteristics. So it adds determination, self-confidence, motivation, passion, and a lot of um, certainty, okay? So it's very self-assertive. So at the same time today, uh, March 28th, we have the full moon shining on Libra. So again, remember that I said at the beginning that Venus is the ruler of Taurus and Libra. So voila. So Venus is pretty much... Um, influencing a lot of things uh, in these days. So the full moon is also influenced by by uh, by Venus, okay, because it's on Libra. Uh, and what happens is that it reveals that harmony and beauty in our own creations and desires, and it helps us at the same time release anything that is not impacting our life in a positive way, that anything that is not bringing a sense of beauty and harmony. And Libra is about harmony and beauty. 
uh, because it, it likes balance, just like its, uh, its sign, how it is draw, um, it is about balance. So my um, astrologer and uh, with my teacher with whom I am uh, studying astro learning astrology with, Eka, um, she was telling me that for her, Venus in conjunction with the sun right now in this full moon in Libra. Chiron is also there, which is an asteroid that is all about healing. This is ideal for healing all those wounds of self-love. So if you have, if you are not loving yourself enough, these days are very important to go deeper and check that out and see where are you maybe lacking of self-love or where is that coming from uh, and do take actions that are revealing or are supporting that uh, love towards yourself. She also shared with me a beautiful ritual that I want to share with you as well. Perfect to use to do in this uh, Venus star point. So are you ready? Take a, a pen and paper and write everything down. So step one, you're going to draw a five-pointed star. Why? Because in that, in the movement of Venus in the sky during that period of eight, eight years that it does the full cycle, it draws in the in the sky um, its epicycle which is that movement it draws um, a five point star so that's why we are drawing that five pointed star and in the center you're going to write in red your wish and it's going to be done in the present tense as if you already have it so a step two, on each point, you're going to place a word that represents on one side how you want to feel, another one how you want to be physically, how you want to be mentally, how you want to be materially, and who you want to share all that with. Step three, you're going to choose five scents, maybe essential oils or five of your favorite perfumes. And you can use it to maybe rub a little bit of those scents, one on each side of the star. Or if you don't have, you can also use an incense and you can kind of pass it over, not not put the this don't put the stick the incense stick in the paper just you know over it as if you're cleaning the aura of the paper but do it on each petal okay go through your star keep in mind that you can add as much art and as, as you like to your star if you want to add some bling bling go do it uh, colors however you want the more beauty the more personality and brilliance you add to it the easier it is to uh, help you with your manifestation so remember also to visualize your desires as you do all this then the paper, if you want, you can put it in your altar and then you can, you know, send it uh, your energy as you wish. So there's a very, very powerful uh, manifesting ritual that you can do in this start point, which is good until... So you still have time. Today is the 28th. So you can still do it tomorrow. Let me just check quickly. 28th, 29th, yes, until the 29th, that means until uh, tomorrow. Well, I also wanted to do the uh, intuitive reading for this full moon in Libra. Uh, again, the idea is to help you bring more harmony and balance in your life. 
So you can use it for your own rituals and own ceremonies and meditations that you do uh, to help in your healing and in your um, consciousness uh, journey. So I pulled out six cards. What support might you benefit from to help yourself make the base, the best choice? You're getting the Knight of Wands, which tells me that you need to reconnect to your passion, to your purpose. Find it. If you don't remember, you don't even think that you don't have a purpose. That's the first thing. We all have a purpose. We all have a reason to be here. We all made a contract before having this human experience with ourselves saying, this is the experience that I want to go through and I want to leave. And you just need to remember what this means, what vehicle you're going to use to leave that purpose. And it's that flame, finding one of the ways to find your purpose. And I really like to work um, on this subject with uh, my clients to help them discover their purpose. One of the things that uh, exercises that we do is remember what you're passionate about. That's one thing. Another thing is remember what you wanted to do when you were a kid. Because when we are kids, we are very much in contact with our soul. And we remember a lot of things from those contracts. But in adulthood and how we are conditioned uh, little by little, little by our family and our culture, we forget and we separate ourselves from our higher self, our soul, and our purpose. So you just need to remember. So remember that flame, what fires you up, what lights you up, what makes you feel happy, that you're passionate about. What can you do to create more balance in your in your closest relationship? You're getting the Six of Pentacles, which talks about sharing and having that balance between um, giving and receiving. If you, this is not only about giving, and this is in Libra, remember? It's balance. This is not only about giving. You need to be able also to receive. If you find yourself giving too much and never receiving, Ah, that's a red flag right there. So accept receiving. Accept a gift. Know that you deserve to be pampered, that you deserve to be loved. You, you deserve a gift. So it's important to have that balance. Um, so in your closest relationship, look around. Pay attention. Are you giving too much of yourself and not receiving anything in return? Where is the greatest imbalance in your life right now? We're getting the page of ones, which uh, talks about being ready. Are you asking, are you being to, um, are you waiting for the perfect moment to say, okay, now I'm ready? We're never going to feel fully 100% ready to take a step to do something. Um, maybe are you being too demanding on yourself saying sometimes to say, oh, well, I'll be ready to do this. I'll be ready to take that class when I finish, um, this, uh, when I find a new job or when I get that promotion or when my, my kids are in high school, when, 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 <laughs> and we, We'll never get there. We, the perfect moment doesn't, is, doesn't exist. The perfect moment is now. So don't wait for the moment to feel uh, super ready to take that first step. Open up and just be ready to try. Open your heart to the million possibilities that can't just come when you say, okay, I will try. What do you need to release in order to be more objective moving forward? We're getting the death card, which is the card of rebirth. <clears throat> I'm sorry. 
So you need to release, you need to shed the old to open up for the new, for the new possibilities and the renew a new you, the renewal of your life. So release but don't lo no longer serves you what is maybe helped you at some point. Now it doesn't work. It's enough. It's the old. Remember the snake that it sheds skin. The same is with the death card. It is about shedding and rebirthing like the phoenix. What do you need to do to feel, to feel more steadfast in your decision making? Take some time for yourself, like the hermit. That's the card that you're getting. In the hermit, you kind of take yourself into isolation to find the answers within yourself, to reconnect with yourself, with your own light, with your own desires, with your own wisdom. So don't be afraid to be alone if you need to. Connect with yourself. Connect to that very source of universal wisdom that is within you. How can you manifest more beauty in your life? We're getting the, the two of pentacles, and this is honestly the third time uh, I see this card in the, um, in the past week. So it means that we are really, really juggling and uh, handling too many things at the same time. You want to manifest more beauty in your life. Find ways to take time for yourself to rediscover the things that you like, that you want to include in your life and experiment and maybe decide what you don't need anymore uh, to stop doing that and give priority to yourself, priority to your needs and desires. So, well, thank you very much for listening. Remember that um, all these uh, intuitive readings and uh, I'm also doing a lot of natal charts as well are part of my intuitive coaching uh, program um, that it includes a lot of healing and a lot of transformation. You can have more, find more information on my webpage, lauratia.com or just you know, contact me. I will love to set up a discovery call uh, to have a chat and see how we can work together if we are a match. <laughs> have an amazing rest of the week and remember to follow me on YouTube and Instagram so you can keep up with uh, the latest posts and information that I'm sharing with you. Have an amazing week. Bless you. And remember, you're a shining light. Bye.